Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo and today we're going to have a pretty fun video. We will be doing a direct comparison of Google's Find My Device versus Samsung SmartThings Find. So this way you can see which one you might need at that little quick moment of trying to find your phone, maybe locking your phone, backing up your phone, retrieving the calls and text messages that just recently happened. So I'm gonna show you the differences between the two. So this way you can find which one you need to use in a pinch. And I'll state that my favorite one is going to be from Samsung, the SmartThings Find, because this just gives you way more options. You have eight different options on the top over here versus Google where you just have basically three. So first, let me show you how you're able to set this up on your Samsung phone if you would like to use the Samsung Find My, you know, the Samsung SmartThings Find My Phone, which it's very important to have a Samsung account. If you don't have a Samsung account, you might as well put it in there. It's super important. There's a lot of things that it gives you, you know, a lot of security, privacy, payments, Samsung Pass, Find My Mobile, the cloud services. There's a lot of things that this gives you and I'll actually cover all of those in a future video. But this is where inside of your Samsung account, you just go to find my mobile and you turn all of these on. When you originally get your phone, all of these might not be on, maybe only one of them or none of them. Uh, and also too, uh, this is what it's gonna allow you to do. It'll allow this phone to be found. You're giving it access to do a remote unlock, send last location. So when it goes down to a certain percentage point, maybe 5%, 10%, it'll at least send the last location of where it was before it died. And then you also have this option too, which is offline finding. So it can locate your phone, even if it's offline and help other people's find their devices. So this will allow your phone to be found by other people's Galaxy devices, even when it's not connected to a network. It will also allow your phone to be used to scan for lost items that may be nearby. You can also find wearable devices such as watches, earbuds, smart tags, and others so yeah you can turn this one on so it's very smart just to once you get your phone you set it up go log in your Samsung account or create one, turn all of these on. So this way, if you ever run into an issue or maybe you forgot your password, your phone, you locked yourself out, as long as you know your account email and password, you can go onto any tablet or computer, you're able to log in and then you're able to unlock your phone. Uh, again, with this remote unlock, and it'll actually delete all of your biometrics. It'll delete your pass, you know, your passcode on your screen. So currently, let's say that you forgot your passcode or your PIN, you're locked out. Just log in, and as lo as long as you have this one turned on, you're able to unlock it and then reset up your screen with a password that you know to use. So now that we talked about all of this right here, which is the Find My Mobile, now we're going to head over into the computer side, and I'm going to show you the differences between the Google Find My Device and Smart Things Find. So how about we first First look at Google Find My Device. So all you would have to do is you're gonna head right over here inside of basically Google. You can type in into Google, find my phone, and it's gonna take you right here and you just select this option. And then from here, you select which phone you would like to find. So if I, you know, if my son lost his, I'd be able to find his. If one of my other phones get lost, I can find it. So we're just gonna go with the phone that we have right now, which is the Galaxy S23 Ultra. So what you saw pop up is once I selected the Galaxy S23 Ultra, this little notification comes up, just letting you know, us know, or this user know that we're basically trying to find the device. Now this map right here, I zoomed out for obvious reasons. So you guys don't know exactly where I live, uh, but you can see everything about this phone and also the other devices that's connected through the Google uh, account. So you can see where it was last found, which is basically right now, you know, and if it was dead, then it would say maybe five minutes ago, 10 minutes ago, it'll say how it's connected. So right now it's actually on my Wi-Fi and not mobile data. And you can see the battery percentage, which is pretty important. So you can know, you know, how much longer you have to find your device. So with this option here is play sound. So it'll actually just play a sound on the phone. Um, so it's playing right over here and it'll ring for five minutes until you find it. Uh, you also have secure device. So you can lock the device and sign out of your Google account. You can also display a message or phone number on the lock screen. You can still locate the device after it's locked. So all you would have to do here is when you get to this point and you select this option, you may have to sign in one more time to confirm that this is your account and you just didn't leave it on someone's computer. So you wanna put in your credentials so then it'll give you the ability to number one, uh, basically uh, sign out of all of your Google accounts, put a message up on the screen for them to read, maybe a number for them to call, uh, but you can still find it from there. And then if you know for a fact it's completely gone, it's lost, it's a lost cause, you can erase device. Erase all content from the device 
after your device has been erased, you can't locate it. This means it's gone forever. You know that you're probably not going to find it and you think somebody has it in their possession. This is the option you can do. So Google will give you the ability to find it. I am actually zoomed out. If you zoom in, you'd be able to see every single thing of where this is at. And then also too, if you click on this little icon, basically what it would do is it would show you pretty much uh, the eye, like the the image of what Google Maps would show you of where it's at. So this way you can see if it's at a house or if it's you know which house it could be, and you'll you're going to be very very close. Now, the next one we're going to take a look at is the Samsung Smart Things Find. So what you would do here is you just go to this website, smartthingsfind.samsung.com, and then you log in with your Samsung account. And again, this is the same thing. So this has given me my map. I can find exactly where it is. I can also tap on it to get more details. Here's all the rest of my devices that's logged in. So I can find my Buds 2 Pros, my Watch 5 Pro, the A7 Lite, the Z Fold 4, the S8 Ultra. So I can take a look at all of these devices and up here is going to give me my details. So it's going to let me know uh, what my battery percentage is. So I know I'm at 57%. It was last updated, you know, literally just right now. You can hit this little refresh button if you'd like to refresh it. So here's the options here. So if you remember the past screen only had three options. Uh, now we have ring, we have lock, we have track location, which this will actually track it and give you intervals and it's going to move with you and update as the phone moves. You can erase the data, you can back up your device, you can retrieve calls and messages. So if you feel that someone is maybe using your phone, uh, you'd be able to retrieve those calls and messages. And it's like the last 50 or something like that. And it's gonna tell you the exact phone number, not the name of who was saved in the phone book if they were saved. You can also unlock the device. Again, if you forget whatever your PIN, password, maybe your biometric don't work, uh, you'd be able to unlock it here so then this way, everything will be erased from the biometrics, the lock screen, stuff like that. And then you'll just have to reset it back up when you get your phone. And then you can also extend the battery life. So you could put it in that ultra power saving mode right here. So you have eight options versus this option over here, which was only three. So you can kind of see which one is doing a little bit better. So let's take a look at all eight of these and it'll actually give you the description when you, when you click on all of them. So right here, you can ring it. So it'll start to ring the Galaxy S23 Ultra. It'll ring for one minute at maximum volume, even if it was set to vibrate or mute. Lock it, you'll be able to, uh, on the lock screen, it can show an emergency contact information or a message on the lock screen. It's gonna lock your wallet. So it'll lock all the cards and other items in wallet so they can't be used. It'll lock Samsung Pass, so it'll turn off the biometrics and Samsung Pass, um, and also suspend the operation of keys and Samsung Digital Key, and then lock power off. So it'll prevent others from turning off your phone. This is a pretty big deal, because sometimes when people find a phone, they might turn it off right away so they can't get lost, or they can't get found. So right here, it'll lock the power up. So this way they cannot turn it off. Uh, and it's also a way for you to, uh, you know, keep finding your phone because if they turn it off, then you only have the send to last location option. Uh, you can track the location, which I said from before, I'm not gonna click it just for reasons for the internet. You can erase the data. Uh, so you would probably have to log in uh, to erase the data. And you can even see right here too, that popped it popped up right here it says are you trying to sign into your samsung account so i'm just going to say yes but i'm going to leave this because i already you know got out of that screen uh back up so you can back up your uh basically everything so your call logs messages contacts uh calendar clocks settings home screen and apps so i can back it up right now uh, retrieve the calls and messages. I'm not going to click this again because it's going to show you phone numbers and things like that. But you can click this to get the history of what people are doing. I can also unlock my device. So unlock your phone remotely when you forget your unlock method or if you lose it. So if this, if you use this function, all of the screen lock information, the, the pattern, the PIN, the password, and biometrics of your phone will be deleted. Tap unlock and enter Samsung account password to confirm. So if I was to click this, I have to put in my password and then it's going to unlock my phone for me. And then I can also extend the battery life. Extend your battery life uh, using maximum power saving mode. The mode's name depends on your device and software. Uh, while battery is extended, data won't be backed up to the cloud. So you just wanna make sure that you can back it up first and then maybe give it some time and then you can extend the battery life if needed. Uh, so this is really all of the options that you have. This is pretty much everything that you would ever need. You can find it, 
you can lock it if you think someone has it. You can track it if it's moving and, and you're trying to figure out where it is. So it's in someone's moped or vehicle. Um, you can erase the data. You can back up your device, retrieve the calls and messages. You can unlock it. Again, if you for, if you just simply didn't lose your phone, but you don't know how to get into your phone. Uh, I know a lot of people message me all the time in videos stating, hey, I forgot my PIN or my password. I can't get into my phone. I typed in too many times. What do I do? Okay, well, go to your computer, log in with your Samsung account, and hit unlock. It's actually very, very simple. But you have to make sure that you have your Samsung account, and you want to make sure that you turn on these options that I showed you at the beginning of the video. And you also have Extend Battery Life versus Google, which gives you three options. Now, these are, you know, finding it, you can secure it, and then erase it. And that's it. I mean, it's the this is the bare minimum that you would have to have and need in really any situation but Samsung really has you covered with everything else. So I hope that you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.